Hello, we are now on week two of my decluttering exercise, getting ready for full-time travel. And this week, I'm going to update you on what I've been up to and how far I've got, dealing with estate agents and selling on eBay. What tax do I pay, if any, for selling my personal items? I'll be right back. my channel thank you again for taking the time to join me so today after I had to fix the 24-hour door on the gym that we own as no one could access it this morning I've been knee-deep in this garage and <laughs> honestly I have done quite a bit in here and um, I can't move the problem is I have so much stuff in here these are empty boxes I've just thrown in here I've got so much stuff in here that you have to do a bit then move a bit then move a bit then move a bit I mean I've been like it's been like an assault course in here climbing over everything but I feel like I got quite a lot done today in here now the reason I want to get the garage done or in some kind of order was so that I could start putting things in here but I'm going to move back to the front room now because the lighting's terrible in here because my light's broken. Let's go back in the front room. Right, I'm back. Now I do apologise if I look a little disheveled and a bit cobwebby, but I have had my head upside down in that garage most of the day and it's full of spiders and cobwebs. It's there, everything is very dusty and, well, I know it doesn't look like I've got very far, but I do feel like I've made some progress. So when I was with you last week, I was clearing out one of my wardrobes and I got most of the things listed on Vinted. I've sold seven items and I've made about £54 on there this week. Um, I do think if they don't sell in the first couple of days, they're probably not going to sell. But I mean, it's a start. Um, I had more success on my Facebook Marketplace with some of my bigger household items. I've sold about seven, I think, yeah, seven, and I've made £90. So, you know, it's not going to get me very far, I know, but, you know, if you, if you think about that could be my living expenses in Vietnam for a week, it doesn't sound so bad. But it's more about, you know, just clearing everything as, as quickly as I can. Uh, I had the estate agents round this week and I picked one and signed with one to put my house on the market. I <laughs> Do you think estate agents are worse than car salesmen? I do, like, I did find this with all of them. Is that there's this kind of, I feel like they look at you like, oh, you're a, little old lady on your own. I mean, I'm not an old lady yet, mister, but I do kind of feel like, because I'm on my own, they're a little bit condescending. And um, I'm kind of used to it now, because, you know, I'm in my 50s and I've had it most of my life. But, and I do have a little giggle to myself, but I do think these, these men should not underestimate us. Because if he does not get on with his job and get my house sold pretty quick, he's going to find out I'm not that little old lady uh, could be banging on your door every five minutes. He's going to be surprised how many times I was just walking past his office if I don't see the progress that I want to see. But I just find it very interesting how people talk to to you when you're a, a woman on your own. Yes, they think that you're stupid or something. I mean, yeah. Okay, guys. But uh, anyway, it's, it's going on the market. I'm having my photos done on Tuesday. So not only do I have to, am I trying to, you know, get on with my decluttering and everything, I now have to stage my house. And by that, like, have nothing messy showing. It even says you can't, be, you know, like, don't see what's hidden under the bed. So... Well, I'm guessing my oven's going to be full, my fridges are going to be full, the garage is going to be even more full with stuff that I just shove in there for the, that hour that he's here. Um, I can't put anything else in my car because 
I couldn't fit all the rubbish in the bin or the bin at the gym, so I uh, it's all in the boot of my car, so it's not at the front of the house. Oh, Fridays is our bin day. Because I've been away, I didn't know which bin would be collected this week. I got back from the gym on um, Friday night and I saw everyone had put their normal waste out. And I was like, oh no, I haven't taken advantage of filling it. So I was rushing around at nine o'clock at night with knowing of the things that needed to go in the bin with bin bags, just making sure that I filled my bin because they don't come for another three weeks and I don't want wasting my wastage space. So that was a, that was a hectic hour. Anyhow, so we're, we're carrying on with the decluttering. The other thing, I mean, because it is, it is hard work and it, it takes a lot of time and also so what I've also been doing is like if I'm cooking I've been listing things you know like my kitchenware and I have for instance I have a lovely Royal Dalton dinner well it's a tea set actually it's a you know for tea I, I brought I treated myself to it years ago many years ago because I always thought well if the Queen ever came for tea it would be perfect. So no one's ever been allowed to use it. If you touch it, you, you just were in trouble. Um, but obviously the Queen's not coming for tea now. Um, so I have to sell it. So I, list, I did list it on eBay. I got two offers within 30 seconds. So I thought, oh, perhaps this is worth a lot more than I thought. So I've left it. I didn't accept the offers. And I've let it go to biddings. And it finishes tomorrow. So let's see what we get for that. But on the uh, subject of eBay and Vinted, I want to thank, um, I, let, I hope I got your name right, is it Cuto Pie? I want to thank you for your advice um, on eBay. Um, and so all the things that I listed at 99p that didn't have bids on them, because I would never end something that had bids on it. I, I just don't think that's right. But they didn't have bids on I, I took them off at the auction. Um, because, as you said, it's not worth going to the post office for. Um, and you also raised the question about paying tax on selling your household belongings. So I looked into that. And uh, I went on the government website and I, I read through the guidance. And on there, they also have like a question and answer. So you answer the question and then it takes you to the next stage. And then you can work out whether or not you would have to pay tax and um, I'm going to put the link in the description so you anyone else looking to do this can check it for themselves but if I understand it correctly um, in essence if you are selling personal items um, under six thousand pounds there's nothing to worry about if it's over six thousand pounds then it depends whether or not you made a profit and if you made a profit, then you would have to pay tax. But if you sold something over £6,000 and you did not make a profit on it, then you wouldn't need to pay tax. Now, in the, my situation, I'm selling my household belongings. Um, nothing I'm selling is over £6,000, so I wouldn't be caught. It's important to note, and it does say this quite clearly on there, this does not include your car or your main house. As long as your car's not used for business, then so you can you don't need to worry about them. Now these rules are set, I I think, to catch people who are buying and selling as a business. You know, so they're buying something cheap and they're doing it up or they're just reselling it. I don't think it's meant to catch people like us who are, you know, selling our belongings so that we can downsize or minimalize our possessions or move on it's not meant to catch us so I'm, I'm pretty confident I've got nothing to worry about there but I will put the link in my descriptions for anybody else that wants to check go through that checklist on the government's website and make sure that you you're comfortable as well so I, I I'm not going to worry worry too much about that but thank you anyway uh, Kuto Pi I really hope I got your name right um, because it was great that you highlighted this for me so that I could go and check it. And I hope that's helpful for you too. 
So what else have we got? Oh yes, yeah. so I have been actually working this week. I can't, this light's so bright in my face I can't see what I'm doing. And I wrote notes, I didn't forget. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've actually been back at work this week. So I'm, for, for work, what I currently do is I co-own a few fitness related businesses with my son and one of them is a gym. Uh, and I don't normally physically work in the gym, but the young lad who's been doing everything while I've been in Antigua um, wanted to go away for a week. So I said, it's fine, I'll cover, I'll cover his hours for him. So uh, I was back there and I, I have to say I was exhausted because there was a lot of cleaning and stuff to do. I mean, that's what you do in a gym, you just clean most of the time. But on the other side, it was really nice to see everybody again and everybody was really pleased to see me. And when I was talking to them about my plans, everyone was so supportive and had lots of encouragement. And, you know, that's really nice. So it was it was really nice to, to for that to happen. And uh, I also had a lovely surprise. As I was cleaning one of the machines, I saw this little onesie come running across the gym. And it was one of my granddaughters. My son was driving past. They'd just been to her gymnastic class and saw I was there. And uh, so surprised me by bringing her in. So she came run, running up, giving me hugs and kisses. And that was, oh, I haven't seen her since I got back. So, oh, it was just lovely. And what's really nice as well is that my son has been talking with my granddaughters to tell them that I'm going um, on a very long holiday. I think he's explained it to them as. Um, and they, because the, one of them is older now, that she has her own iPad, um, that he's that they've suggested that me and her arrange when I've gone that every week we catch up on video and I think that's lovely because I really do want to stay in touch with my granddaughters they're so cute and I will miss them a lot but that's a really good way to keep in touch with them so I was very happy about that and I'm really happy that my family are you know really coming to terms with the idea and, and supporting me and you know, finding ways that we, we we keep our communication going. So that was that was really special. Oh, shiny. oh yeah, so that's uh, that's is what I didn't want to forget to tell you actually. Was I, I've been on Facebook quite a bit, a bit this week, not just uh, this week, not just on marketplace to sell things, but also I've been um, joining other like groups, and I've been finding lots of groups of other solo women of, of my age doing the same sort of thing or wanting to do the same thing and it's been really marvelous because like they like there was one on there and this lady saying she wanted to go to South America and did anybody want to go with her and and, and you know like I messaged her back I messaged her and I said you know I, I am I would love to go but I can't make any plans now because I'm you know waiting to sell my house but I'd really like to stay in touch and because you never know do you even if you go don't get to actually travel together you might meet up at some other point and uh so yeah so we, we've become friends on facebook and i've done this with a few other people i've found on there and just sharing ideas and it's wonderful to see that there's there is there are lots of communities doing the same thing and it it's great to know that there'll be other people out there so i always do say when you're traveling you know, Facebook is your friend because there are groups for everything. You know, I'm part of groups for uh, areas where I've always wanted to go. I'm, I'm on the group uh, Women of Da Nang, um, Panama, I'm on lots of Panama groups because I'm quite interested to go to Panama City. It just, just seems really exciting. And, uh, and lots of other countries, I've kind of joined groups and, you know, and I follow them and I hear, you know, look, listen to the advice they give to people and I think um, if you're thinking of doing something like this and you it's a great way to connect with people and get some really good advice from people that have done what you're doing so I've yeah I've been doing that and it's, it's quite nice in the evenings I'll tell you what it's better than using dating apps it's much better to make new female friends for sure I think that's everything I have to update you on this week. Um, I'm planning to be very busy next week, obviously getting the house staged ready for the photographs and then 
hope, hopefully, um, you know, be on the market this, well, yeah, at the end of this week. And uh, fingers crossed, um, you know, we can get moving. And then in the, uh, uh, the rest of the time, I'm just going to be decluttering and uh, trying to find empty bin spaces to put everything in that uh, I'm throwing out and just keep selling what I can for now and just keep going and going and I think that's it is even if you think you have only you're only scratching the surface every little bit you can do every one thing you sell is a step nearer to getting it done that's how I'm looking at it um, so I'm not beating myself up that you know the garage doesn't look completely clear after a day <laughs> You know, there's no point. It it will get done, um, and and if I need help, I'm just going to have to go and get help, aren't I? But at the moment, we're getting there. I also want to thank you all because I've been absolutely, genuinely overwhelmed with how many people watched my video of last week and was interested in my journey, and for all the lovely, lovely comments that I got. It it was it just meant the world to me. It really did. And so I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support and uh, and it's just great to, you know, connect with people that are in a similar position or thinking about doing it or just those people that just gave me advice or kind words. Uh, you know, thank you. Thank you so much. It's just it's really, really kind of you. Really, really kind. I really appreciated it. Um, so I will give you another update next week and if I get a spare hour or two I am trying to put together my videos of my trips to my recent trips to South America and um, to Turkey um, so I wanted to get this one out first because I did promise you it but I will try and get my uh, travel experience videos up as well and, um, and I hope you will continue to follow my journey and keep sending me the tips. I really, really do appreciate it. So for this week, thank you again and uh, I will see you next week with a few less possessions, I hope. Take care. Thank you. Bye.